Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI training part four. In this training module, we're gonna be taking a look at doing a software overview so we know where to find various features and functions within our laptop specific software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at doing a software overview using our Holly Sniper EFI software in this tutorial. The purpose of a software overview is that you can get more comfortable and familiar with the software, understanding where to find various features and function within the software so that as you're going through and doing your calibration process with your sniper, it'll be a lot more comfortable and familiar experience. As we go through future training tutorials here in our training course, you'll find that you already understand and know where to look for something like fuel tuning or idle control tuning or how to go in and find the area for data logging. So we will go through everything from start to finish here in the software and we'll be covering all of these topics that I'm gonna be just touching on in this tutorial in future training tutorials in much greater detail. So let's jump in here and take a look at starting to work with our software. So as I'm sitting in my vehicle right now, I have the USB comm cable plugged into my laptop and plugged into the sniper harness. I am key on engine off status. So key on engine off, our sniper system's powered on, the engine is not running. What I'm gonna do right now is go here to the download from ECU option. We've talked about this already, this downloads, it connects to the Holly, it downloads the file that's currently in your sniper system. What you can do is download that file and then save it so you have a copy of that file and then you can do file save as and change the name of the file so you're not overwriting on top of that file that you've downloaded. So if you have something already populated on the sniper, you definitely wanna save it out and at this point in time, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just gonna go download from ECU and grab that file out of the ECU. We can open a configuration file which puts us automatically into the offline mode. If we open the data log, we'll be in offline but we're reviewing a data capture from our sniper system. We'll be getting into data logging in the next few tutorials. I can create a completely new config file in the offline mode or I can open up the last file I had open within the software before it was closed which we can find right here. What I'm going to do is download from ECU as my option. So when I do this, we can see it's syncing with the sniper system and it went in and it downloaded all of the pertinent information out of the sniper. And now what we can find here is that we are in the offline mode. We can have status check of that. If we look down here at the bottom, we see all of our sensors and our lower left pane here. We can see under these different group sections that they're all showing zero value because we are in the offline mode. So we've downloaded the file. We haven't actually gotten live in real time with the sniper system. We're gonna talk about how to do that here in a little bit, but we have the file that's currently loaded into our sniper box. What we can do from here is go to file and then go here to save as, and this allows me to save the file. Again, we know how to do the file saving and the folder structuring within the config file section. I'm not gonna do that right now. We can just see here, this would be called stock cam. Let's go ahead and save that to the folder that I've created for my project. So I've saved the file out of the Holly, and now we can start to take a look at the file, understanding where to go through the software to find various features and functions, and then also how to get online with our Holly and to do some of that basic data logging we've talked about right here. So the first thing we need to do here is talk about our ICFs, or the uh, individual configs. This is going to be here, a fuel ICF. Now what do we find within the fuel ICF? We have our base fuel table. The base fuel table here is going to be in terms of volumetric efficiency. This is a percentage of cylinder filling. Now we can see that this table is based on map pressure here on our left axis, and then engine RPM down here on our bottom axis. We have all these individual cell points in the table with these values. And again, these values here that I'm clicking on, this represents how much cylinder filling is happening within our airflow coming into our engine. You can think of the volumetric efficiency table as an estimation of airflow, where if you fit your engine with a mass airflow sensor, there would be a direct measurement of airflow. So this is going to be essentially a simulation or an estimation of airflow coming into the engine. It's very specific of how we actually have to calibrate this table. We'll be getting into all of that in future training tutorials, but this table is our main fuel table or what they're calling the base fuel table. It's actually not going to technically be a fuel table. It's going to be an estimation of airflow or an estimation of the volumetric efficiency. And again, a lot of, a lot of things to talk about there, but that's gonna be one aspect. And this is gonna be primarily where we do all of the main 
tuning so that our fuel delivery is correct for our engine. Now we also have a graph that we can take a look at here. The graph will plot everything in our table here, but doing in a graphical format so we can spot trends within the table. So if we see a peak. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.